Well, I've had an invitation to go and try out a new lake where I've got the opportunity to possibly even stock it and fit it annually at Simon's Place at Cloudier. And uh, no idea what it's going to be like, but it sounds interesting. I sat and I won't even find it, so it could be awkward trying to find it today. But uh, it's a beautiful day, so we'll give it a go and see. Winding roads amongst the mountains here. Oh, lovely. It's, it's a white admiral. Well, it's like it's 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 a, it's a, it's a different version of it. Facts of having you here, where I can pull them, pull them went out. Right, we're going to have a go at fishing this little lake now for the first time. First thing is to see if there's small fish in it, and uh, we'll put a carp rod out. I gather they're a medium size, some small carp, and some bass I gather as well, so I've got the opportunity to stock this lake up. So first of all we need to see uh, what sort of fish are in and what the foods uh, are likely to be for trout or other fish. Um, well, it's an open end, it's an open ended book at the minute, we'll just have a look and see. And we've got maggot out just to see what fish are in here, and we've got a nice little Roach here, very nice fish. Not small enough for bait, but it shows that the roach are in here at least. So there we go. It's a, a nice little fish as a starter, isn't it? Maybe then when we get today, who knows? Right, so I'm going to put in a load of sweet corn now. Let's see if we can get the fish interested and put a couple of pieces on my gilt edge, gilt uh, spade end here. And we'll just see if anything a bit bigger is out and about there because nothing's taking the bread at all. On this rod, I'm going to put some worm and we'll put that out on the bottom over there just in case. We'll whack that over to that corner. And we should need some more rod rest, but we'll see. A bite out there on the float. Yeah, we're into a small one. <laughs> that's a little bit too big for going for the bass, unless they're very, very big bass. But that's an ideal size to use for silure or for um, Xander. Right, another little roach on this one. Tiny fish. And that looks like it might be bait size. That is just bait size if there's some big bass about. But I haven't seen any movement, so who knows. That's more like it. This could be a carp. So let's see if we can get this in. We'll ever see what it is. I think it's probably a small carp. But that was on worm, right over by the trees. So, oops, we have succeeded. This is on my light spinning rod. So I might fix this up with a a live bait because it's going over the branches it's going to get me into those trees over there if I'm not careful let's try it 
trying to get into the roots. That's what it's trying to do, and it's got into the roots, I think. One fish that got me around the trees up there, with probably a carp, I don't know, the short rod. I put the long rod out in the same place and we've had a bass out. If that was a bass before, it was a very big one. Anyway, let's see what happens now. Right, we're into a, a carp now on the worm again, but this time I'm on a heavier rod, so I've got much better chance. It's not such a big fish, this one, but I've uh, got the right tackle ready. And we'll have this one out. What have we got then? Oh yes, a nice little fish. In fact, what is it? It's not a carp, it is a bass. It is indeed a bass. Beautiful bass. Just look at that then. Now there's a fine fish for you. So a very nice bass. Well we'll just take the hook out of this one. It's a lovely little bass look. It is a nice bass already, so it's about a pound and a half, not a huge fish, but a nice condition. We'll put this one back in again. We want to catch these later again. Although I like to eat them, we want to get, heat the stock up in here for a while. So I'm going to put another couple of worms under here. I can hear something sucking away at the bread around the corner there, so I want to go and see if it's carp. I'll put another couple of big worms on here and whack that out there again and see if we can pick up anything else, any more. Um, the bass or even carp. Right over there again. Spot on, just right by those trees. I'll get another live bait to go on here in case there's any more bass around here. There's some slurping going on around here, so I'm going to drop a bit of bread in here and see if it goes. I will. Throw in some bits of bread here and just see if anything does show any interest under these trees. I think it'll spot for the carp. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the we're trying sweet corn here. I've got bread down the corner to see if any fish come up there. Some slurping just now. Um, and we'll carry on with the maggots here. Well, do you think this would be a perfect little corner for a carp or two? I can see a little roach just out there. There's nothing larger lurking about at the moment, further up in the water. I put some bread out there that's still there. I'm just trying around the other side of the pond with the live bait to see if we can tempt a bass out here. Nothing as yet. Try it a bit further over. And how deep it is here. We'll try lure here and just see what happens. You never know. I think I'm getting some takes along here. We'll just try again. I had something nibbling at it, I think. Yeah, there's definitely a fish at it then. Try again. Yeah, some of these roach in here are quite nice specimens, as you see. Well, it's just coming up to three o'clock, so a height of the afternoon, and uh, 
we've had a couple of worms taken off, but we've only had that one, I think, carp and um, the bass. And I've caught a load of smaller roach. I'm going to stop on that in a moment. I'm just, uh, trouble is the worms have gone off rather in the heat, so not brilliant. I'll just catch a couple more of these small roach and then uh, we'll call it a day on that. I've seen a couple of larger fish in the top. Could have been small carp or one or two very large. Here we go, look. Oh, dropped off. Um, roach. But I think there's only roach and carp and bass in here. I don't think there's perch or tench or anything like that. Let's see, we're just whipping out these little ones at the minute. So that'll do for that for the minute. Well, I'm on my way to Bessines Bis Gartomp, which is obviously by the sound of it on the Gartomp. And that's where we hope to fish. A friend of mine has offered to show me where some good barbel and so on. This is why I went to do the judging of the portrait uh, exhibition. Uh, nearly two meters. <laughs> One and a half. So my friend says this is a beautiful place for barbel and even brochet and uh, the pike as is as well. And I can see here maybe at the end of the swim we might pick something up. Deep areas like this, who knows where. Both the rods down here to see. So this will be good to try for barbel later. So now we're at the old Moulin and the shallow oh, yeah. water. Before the Beautiful, water. yes. Yes. A lot of trout here or? A lot, no. No. Here, so the parking here. Oh, it's the guy for the electric station. So My name is Bertrand Paris. I am living in bessin sur gartan a village etat. So we are here just nearby the Gartan River. In Bessin, it's the biggest river. We have many small rivers just nearby, but this part is a part for trout fishing. There is a part in this picture, very interesting here. White small fishes here, barbeau, perche and uh, pikes, I think we said, some just nearby on the, the river is getting bigger and bigger. And there are less a, a la ponte. Yeah. next, just mm -hmm. next nearby on the, on the left part of the river especially. So the weather is fine, we're in June and then I expect you to have a good good days for fishing. What's the name? Hmm. Digital. Ah yes. It's a digital. It's, because it's uh, in Latin it's digitalis. Uh, nearly seven days to get there with the to the ocean. Right, we're going to have a go down here at these barbel. We can find some. Well, here we are. Let's see what we can do here. It's a beautiful spot. Who knows what's lurking down here? 
first thing is to get set up and we put on a couple of light ledger rigs to fire some uh, worm and some meat, luncheon meat out here. I've like prepared two ledger rods now and uh, I've got more than a sliding rig on this one, we've got a little leg here that slides down to fill it. I can get log worm on that one and we've got um, a span on this one. We're going to see if we can pick up this one. Okay, so I'll pick anything up at the bottom here. Well, we've got something on here, on the maggot. Let's have a look what we've got. A dace, which is rather nice. So that's the start, isn't it? Perfect bait, but we haven't got the bucket down for that. 